Right, lads? So, <laughs> sure a few of you looked at the title and just thought, what the fuck is this going to be about? So, I'm going to elaborate. In, in modern life, it's perhaps... It's perhaps never been easier in human history to become addicted to things. If you think of like the year and a half of lockdowns we've had where we've essentially been cooped up inside, left to our own devices, we've maybe picked up some really bad habits. Some things that we've become addicted to. And, you know, this is this is true before the lockdowns as well. I know it apparently gambling's a big thing. Obviously our generation not so much. But also things like smoking, drinking alcohol, social media, gaming, and as I'll get to later, porn. There's these there's these really no, none of these things by themselves are, are bad, arguably. But when you can't say no to something, you've got some really big problems in your life. Well, you don't have really big problems, but it is a problem for you, right? There's, there's a famous proverb, that which you cannot say no to is your master and you its slave. <clears throat> and so this episode, I just want to talk about overcoming addictions. Right, because they are they're, they're they're leeches on your life essentially. That's the way I like to see them. They're they're leeches. They 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 latch onto you and they they drain you of your time, your energy, and as we'll see, some very very important something very important called dopamine. And <clears throat> what you need to understand about addictions is that they they form in two ways. One they become habitually conditioned behavior. So essentially they, be, they become bad habits that you can't get rid of. And the longer you've held a habit, the harder it is to break, right? This is, that, that's obvious. <clears throat> so, so that's one way they kind of become part of your behavior. If, if you can't stop yourself drinking, if you can't stop yourself smoking, if you find yourself spending hours every day scrolling through social media, when you find yourself watching porn and you, you don't want to, it's because, it's one, because of this, it's become a bad habit, and two, you've become dependent on it for something, right? <laughs> the common theme of this, uh, this video series is emotional independence. And if you are addicted to something, you are, by definition, dependent on it, right? If you can't stop yourself drinking alcohol because you need to feel the buzz, you're dependent on that. If you need the nicotine, you're dependent on it. If you, if you need to scroll to the dirty websites, you, you need it, right? You've become addicted and you're dependent on it. And these, these two things, they're both, they're both conscious in your mind, but more importantly, it, it has a lot to do with your subconscious psychology, right? Your subconscious, uh, the, these things form subconsciously, I should say, right? And you, which is why you may find yourself doing things that you don't want to do, or you feel the compulsion to do things you don't want to do, or do too much of, right? <clears throat> and, and this is bad. Okay, you, you, you don't, like I said, it's like a leech on your life. You don't want to be in a position where you're doing things that you don't want to do or doing too much of things that you don't want to do. Okay, you want to overcome addictions in your life. You do. <laughs> and the way you go about doing addictions, overcoming addiction, sorry, is by tackling these two things, the bad habits and the emotional dependency. Right? The first thing you want to do, you've got to do them both together, I guess. You want to overcome the bad habitual conditioning. Not just by stopping the bad habit. Because that creates a vacuum which is inevitably flooded by the bad habit again. You have to overcome the bad habit by replacing it with a positive one. Alright? You must stop the bad habit 
and replace it. You have to do both. You have to stop and replace. Okay? So, I'll get into a little bit of more detail in the specific example of this episode, the specific action. But that's number one. You want to stop the bad habit and replace it with a good one. And you're free to choose whatever that may be. <clears throat> and secondly, you want to be you want to focus on your dependency upon it. Right? These things that you may be turning to in, in addictive compulsions like porn, like gaming, like like hours of social media, like drinking, like smoking, like drugs, gambling, whatever it is. These things which you are dependent upon. You need to focus on emotional independence. <laughs> Right, like I said, I've repeated myself so many times in this video series, but that's what you need to do, right? You need to focus on, you need to let go of these dependencies and focus on yourself, right? Start positive habits. Make these positive habits become your new dependencies, like going to the gym, like eating healthy, right? And, and like I said, anything else you want it to be. Don't become dependent on things that you don't want to do. Become independent and build positive habits. Right? I'll leave that there. And the, uh, <laughs> so the, the action for this episode may have raised a few eyebrows when you saw this pop up in your, uh, your timeline. Why on earth would I be making a video about stopping porn? And I think porn is just the, the perfect example of an addiction that you want to kick, right? And I'm just gonna stay, say as just a blanket statement, right? Stopping watching porn is <laughs> one step down of a necessity as drinking water. It, it really is that serious, and, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It is such an important habit to pick up in your life. And I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get too weird with this, right? But the amount of energy you're going, you're going to save, let's say that. Both mentally and, and physically, just, what, how do I say this? When, when you're watching porn every day, or multiple times a day, every day. You're essentially plugging your mind into a source of dopamine. Right, you can just pull out the phone, flip open the laptop, and just get a hit of dopamine. Oh, I'm bored, what am I gonna do? I wonder. Watch porn. You, so you might find yourself doing it when you're sad or stressed. <laughs> like, like they say in The Wolf of Wall Street, right? Maybe, maybe you've got some rocky numbers going on over there, but... It becomes this substitute for something. Not only is it a bad habit, but it, you're also dependent on it for dopamine. For a feeling of sexual interaction with a girl or a boy. You need to cut this out of your life because it's not real. It's not real. I know our generation has grown up with it just being a part of our lives, right? We've had mobile phones since we were teenagers. We've had laptops since we were kids. This, like, we've grown up in a world where it's sort of normal, but it's not a natural thing. It's not real. And if you're watching porn and not going out and speaking to, to real life girls or boys, You're not living in the real world, you know? You're, you're hooking your mind up with dopamine, which is draining you of all of, all of your life energy. You're just wasting with this habit, all right? And so I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that, right? I don't, wanna get, I don't wanna get too far down that road. Maybe there's plenty of stuff on this on YouTube. Go <laughs> look into it more if you're interested in it. But what I can promise you is this. What I can promise you is this. 
if you stop watching porn, your life will improve. I, I can put my hand on my heart and promise you that. Stop watching porn. If, if you're nervous about speaking to girls or boys in the real world, stop watching porn and see what happens. If you're nervous in social situations, stop watching porn and see what happens. If you feel like you just don't have any motivation to do things in life, if you feel like... If you don't have the motivation or the inspiration to go to the gym, to, to read a book, stop watching porn and see what happens. I promise you it will change your life. Right? Unhook yourself from this source of dopamine. Build positive habits and improve your life. It's the longest one yet. I wanted to keep these less than three minutes, but fuck it. <laughs> See you in the next one.